Hello everyone, I'm Rinal Mehta and welcome back to Marketing91.com. We provide management and marketing training to students and professionals worldwide through our courses, videos and community. This video is part of a comprehensive take on the gamut of human resource management. Let's start with the gamut of industrial relations. Industrial relations are those bonds that regulatory bodies, trade unions, employers and workers share. Broadly speaking, it involves all the relations that connect the various people involved with any industry. It pertains to dissolving any tension within industries. It covers all the institutions that work in the interest of the employees. Moving forward, let's look at a case study of Samsung Electronics. Well, the impact of uh, the strike by Samsung Electronics and the very first one is unknown. If the demands for compensation and improved working conditions are not satisfied, Samsung Electronics unionized employees have threatened and would be an unparalleled walkout at the electronic giant. This happened somewhere in the early of 2022. After the government arbitration fell through, union leaders staged a protest in front of Samsung corporate headquarters in Central Seoul. They demand that the pay disparities between employees be reduced, that paid leave be increased and the health benefits be improved. As stated by head of one of the four unions representing Samsung Electronics, there are many options, one of which is a strike. He further stated, We'll continue to fight to ensure wage negotiations and collective bargaining will not only Samsung Electronics but all unions on Samsung affiliates. Moving further, officials from the union requested a face-to-face -face conference with both the top executives of the leading smartphone and chip manufacturers in the world. The National Samsung Electronics Union, the largest of the four unions, has around 4,500 members. At a time when the unhappiness about unfair pay and working conditions is on the rise, union members are likewise afraid of offending the public. As stated by another union official, We don't want to strike at a chip line. If I said we want to stop a chip line, that would make us into a public enemy. When asked about how many of the participants worked in the semiconductor industry, the unions refused to reply. Moving forward, Samsung Electronics said in a statement, The company continues to engage in dialogue with unions and is making every sincere effort to come to an agreement. The cooperation established in 1969 resisted unionization until about the end of 2010. However, Vice Chairman and the organization's head has subsequently vowed to establish a sound labor management culture. South Korea's culture and economic situation has changed, uh, stated by one of the professors of economics at the Yonsei University. He further stated, Samsung Electronics, which was not affected by union activities in the past, must view unions as a partner. While unions may find it difficult to strike due to negative views against strong labor responses. Moving forward, so let's look at the key stakeholders that uh, fall under the gamut of industrial relations, starting with the first one, the government. Any government has a role of taking the initiative to draft laws that contribute towards maintaining greater equality. It must also stick to them and put them into action. The institutions, policies and laws that can oversee industrial relations are in the hands of the state. It is central to overseeing industrial relations anywhere. For instance, in India, Along with their responsibility, the government also the largest employer in the country. Moving forward to another stakeholder, employers. Keeping up good industrial relations is impossible without the help of the management of the company. In extreme cases, complete control was entirely the purview of the management. The employer has to oversee the compensation and benefits that the workforce receive. It must delegate responsibility and also create a working environment for the workforce. Professionalism in the workflows has increased over the years. Now, there is a greater equality in the workplace and employers are more accessible than before. Moving on, the other stakeholder and the very important ones are employees or the workforce itself. Industrial relations greatly concern itself with looking out for the benefits of the workforce and the workers. This means that industrial relations oversee both the organized as well as the informal sectors of the economy. Next. Trade unions. A collective of the employee is called a union. The existence of these is enabled by the legal system. They are at the heart of many discussions regarding industrial disputes. They are integral to industrial relations. Next, industry bodies. Organized groups within the organizations make up industry bodies. Their main aim is to come up to a solution to shared problems by coalescing multiple organizations and companies. These can exert some authority in training institutions, policy making, etc. However, they are not at the heart of industrial relations. And finally, the society. Society is not at the heart of the issues revolving around matters concerning industrial relations. However, every society is made up of the workforce and those related to the workforce. Therefore, the issue of the workers are a societal matter. Now moving on to the objectives of industrial relations. The main aim of uh, IR is to keep the ties between the various employees and employees at their best. It should try to improve the goodwill and assessment they have of each other. This helps them ensure the best for the management and workers. Industries have the possibilities of gearhouse, lockouts and strikes uh, and IR tries to avert these conflicts. 
It seeks to provide happiness at the workplace to the employees and get workers to the office and prevent them from leaving. It increases productivity at the end. Moving on, it tries to make the workflows a more democratic environment for the workers. It seeks to work through cooperation and discussion between the management and the workers. This keeps the workers' strength high. It tries to make the workers' collective negotiation power also stronger through trade union building as we witnessed in our earlier video. The workforce would also be allowed to be part of the industry and decision-making process. This way, there would be industrial democracy. Finally, it tries to control the production process and relationship between the workers by getting the government involved. And finally, let's look at the principles of a good industrial relationship or how do you maintain good industrial relationship. Let's start with the trust among workers. Any issue should be approached with respect for all parties involved autonomously and freely. This can be done through the consent of the union, managers and also employees. Next, support from management. There would be issues faced by the employees that would escalate to the relations manager. The management should back the relations manager in such cases. Next, collective bargaining. All trade unions have a right to bargain as a collective team. This should be understood and acknowledged by the management. Next, robust employee personal policies. Personal policies are a framework that oversee personal issues. These can only be made when the employees or their chosen representatives are involved in making such policies. Otherwise, they might not work. There should be no discrimination when applying the personnel policy all over the company. Next, the education of foremen and supervisors. So supervisors or the foremen which work um, on the ground in the factory must be adequately equipped with the skills for the task. They must see the policies put into action. Next, working together with government bodies. Policies need government bodies to conceive of and apply. They usually draft policies involving the relation and finances of the industries. And finally, education for employees. Irrespective of the role and rank, workers should have a background in human relation. These can be achieved through training programs for them. So that's it folks. This brings an end to the gamut of industrial relations. These are the list of sources and links referred to for our content in the video. Thank you and stay tuned for more videos.